That means it's going to have zero flavor. You need a little bit of fat in your steak. You need it for moisture and you need it for flavor. So we're going to make a spice rub with a little bit of chili powder and some cayenne and a little bit of paprika, some dried mustard. You can use your favorite spice rub if you like, or you can make your own. A little bit of uh, dried oregano. And we're just going to take a little bit of the, uh, the spice rub and put it on just one side, not both. And a lot of times people ask me, how come it's just on one side? Again, we don't want to get in the middle of that delicious flavor of the beef. We just want to enhance it. It's going to do two things. It's going to actually create a nice crust on the outside for flavor, and it's also going to create a nice texture as well. So I'm going to put a little canola oil on my cast iron pan here. It's nice and hot. And we're going to put it on the, on the uh, spice rub side down. I'm going to crust our steak. And on the other side, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to let this cook. Now this is what's really important. Leave your steak alone. Let the grill or the pan or whatever you're cooking it on actually do, do its job. You don't want to keep flipping and turning and flipping and turning because then you'll get a gray steak. We don't want that. We want it to be nice and crusty on that one side. So while that's happening, we're gonna uh, we're gonna make the um, the Bobby Flay steak uh, steak sauce, and it's very simple. There's actually zero cooking involved. We're just gonna um, take a couple of ingredients, mix them together, and make sure they're seasoned well. We're gonna have a delicious steak sauce to go to the steak. So we're gonna start with a little bit of ketchup, some Dijon mustard for a little spiciness. And then uh, some whole grain mustard. And I love whole grain mustard because you know it's got a little bit of texture in it and those little mustard seeds pop when you eat it. And then a couple of things that are sweet. Some honey, one of my favorite ingredients. So good. You know, the, to me, the key to a good steak sauce is you want some heat, you want some sweet, you want it to be, have a nice sweet texture, and then a couple of surprises in there as well. Here's one of the surprises. We're going to actually use a little bit of uh, molasses, just a tiny bit, because it's nice and tart and sweet as well. And then some horseradish. This is the one that people always say, like, I know it's something in there, but I can't figure out exactly what it is. So we're going to put some pickled horseradish right into our sauce. And of course, like everything else, we season it with some salt and pepper. Where's our steak coming in? Not bad. He's not bad. Exactly. That's what you want to say, just like that. A nice crust on the outside of your steak. Beautiful. Uh, hold the steak up for us. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn it over and then let it cook on the other side. And you really don't want to turn the steak one single time. You see, it's just... The, 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 the beauty of cooking is that you don't have to do a lot of cooking. You just put it out there and let it happen on its own. Just want good ingredients and good flavoring and a good pan. So we're going to uh, we're going to mix up our steak sauce here. See what this looks like. And I'm going to give it a taste. If you notice, I didn't measure a single thing, um, just because I hate measuring, and I just want to just kind of taste it and uh, see what it tastes like, and I'll just adjust it as it goes along. Pretty good. So what are the things that I'm tasting? I'm tasting a little bit of horseradish. I taste the mustard. I taste the sweet from the molasses and a little bit of the of the honey as well. I think that's actually perfect, just like that. Now, I cooked the steak right before we went on, and the idea behind that is because I wanted to rest for a little while. And you want your steak to rest because you want the juices to cool down. If I cut the steak immediately off the grill or out of the pan, what's going to happen? The juices are really hot. They're going to run out of the steak and onto the cutting board. You're going to lose all that big juiciness that you want. So you just want it to cool down a little bit. All right. So, you know, in the restaurant, we would just serve the steak whole, but I'm going to slice it up and let, I know that I'm sure that somebody in the band or somebody out there is going to, or you, right, are going to want to taste it. You want to come up? I just want to. Yeah, oh no, I know. How do you like your steak cooked? Rare, perfect. Good answer. Alright, so we're just going to take a little bit of steak sauce. What's your name? Hi, Abby, nice to meet you. Everybody? Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. So a little bit of steak sauce. 
And then we're going to take our steak. A little bit of chive oil, some color. And then, okay. because we like to cook very healthfully, we're going to add a little bit of arugula to the plate. <laughs> That's a it looks like a arugula. It's yeah. almost like a, almost sort of like a miniature steak salad. Um... There you go. Steak in a jiffy. Want to give it a taste? All right, you know how we rehearse this, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, now, now, keep chewing. Keep chewing. I want you to make believe you're a judge on, like, let's say, um, Chopped. Okay? So you can't just say it's delicious. You can't use the word delicious. You have to use descriptives. Things that we would under so we would understand exactly what we would be tasting tasting ourselves. So the word delicious is a nice word, and it's a positive word, but it doesn't really tell us anything. So why don't you describe this steak that we have? No, it's really fun. It's really crazy. Come close. Talk into the mic. It's crunchy. It's soft. It is perfectly seasoned. Okay. It's sweet. It's spicy. It's juicy. Perfect. Great job. Thank you very much. And they say what Jeffrey Zakarian does on shop is difficult. Everybody, thank you very much. Have a great night. There you go.